not going to happen. Now, the Rule 35, that sounds interesting. Um, we, uh, we have a YouTube personality out of New Orleans named Ter- Terrence Gangster Williams. Yeah. Now, he's been, when he first got out, he got, he got a lot of flack about how he got out the federal system because of him, um, guess, I'm, I'm assuming, telling on people that's out, that out, already passed away. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so um, I'm assuming that will be considered a Rule 35 because it's after the fact, correct? Yes. All right. Now, since T- Terrence Gangster Williams uh, talked about crimes, about people that already – uh, that's passed away that's deceased so they can't do any time is that considered snitching alright me, me and Red were just talking about this that's why when you said I said boy he right on time me and Red talked about it and I talked to my homie Veli we believe they going too hard on the homie gangster and I'm gonna tell you why from my research the nigga was a, 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 a stone cold stepper in New Orleans the nigga did 23 years behind that wall and ain't bring nobody to prison with him. In my book, if you take a nigga off the street with you, my nigga, you a police ass nigga. In his book, his situation, he told, but that's like a get out of jail for free call for a gangster. That's how I look at it. That was a get out of jail free call for a gangster. Now the reason you're saying that because even though he told on somebody, he they they dead, so they can't they who can't go the to jail. Yeah, who, ain't nobody up the road. Who up the road for, for what he did? Gotcha. I want to ask you a question. When what? the mob pay the police, is that snitching? When the mob pay the police? When the mob paying the police off to knock to knock off their spot, is that snitching? There ain't no snitching in in in, in, the, in the mafia eyes now. But you telling the police what you got going on? That's true. But in the mob eyes, no, they don't look at it snitching. But what it is though? <laughs> you cooperate with police? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good ass point. That's a great point, bro. You know, you KC can... with the home run. That's a great you point. Cooperate with the police. Yeah. How about when Al Capone and them send the send the police to go knock off some other spot because they getting some more money? They go shut down that, that that club over there. They did in uh, in, uh, in um. I want to speak in, on in Hall of Nights. Too. I want to speak how, on games. How they knew Eddie Murphy them was making money over there? The other mob boss sent the police over to put pressure down. In, in in Scarface. Look at your boy Frank. He was in there with the with all the with all the kingpins. He already know what's going on. They already done told on themselves. That's a great ass point, KC. It's true, it's facts. Yeah. So so dealing with the police on all levels as a criminal. You gotta look at Terrence Gangs Women as a criminal. He's a convict. So if they come to him with the opportunity to get out of jail, he ain't took none of his homeboys off the street. Now, now one of his homeboys that he done sacrificed life for, sacrificed time for, up the road behind him, he ain't got nobody, nothing to prove to nobody. Now, what he did is called snitching. But who he fucked up? Who doing time right now saying, oh, that nigga that put me, that nigga that got me up the road, or that nigga that got me, took me away from my family? Who can say that about him? Yeah, because he know, because if, if he wanted to, he could have said a lot of shit and not White even, even spent no time. White went real hard on him on Clubhouse. I heard it. This yeah. is my thing. This is mm-hmm. my thing, too, right, about Terrence Gangster Williams. I had the opportunity. I was in Mariana with him. I was up the road with him just on my last prison that I was at. He was there. He went home before I did. <clears throat> my whole thing on him is, um, like my man say, I think they going kind of hard on him. First of all, we don't promote snitching in no form fashion on this no show. not at all let's go ahead and put that out there we don't promote snitching but i'm gonna ask y'all something right i'm gonna play devil's advocate and i'm gonna ask the viewers this right here i'm gonna get back to terrence gates and williams you know what i'm saying you know um i fuck with dude at the end of the day you know what i'm saying because i got my own reasons for and what i mean by that is like i said i feel like they going hard on the nigga man because the nigga legend here gangster they know he's a stepper you know what i'm saying and they feel like he lost that right but I'm going to ask you something. If you was in a federal penitentiary and you had a life sentence and you got your <clears throat> brother or your cousin or anybody to put two kilos of heroin and an AK-47 in an abandoned house, 
And all you got to do is call the ATF and tell them that you know where some drugs and some guns at because they got to come and get that. <clears throat> they can't leave it there. And they cut you and they end up cutting your time for that. Does that make you a rat? Oh, someone said, oh, yeah, you cooperated. Who the fuck did I put in jail? If anything, I finessed the government. I played the fuck out of them crackers. Good. I got them good. It was my drugs. It was my gun. I put that in that abandoned building, and I told them where that fucking shit was at. And they cut my time for that. Does that make me a rat? Now, in and the eyes of the public, they're going to say, yeah, he how? ran it. He told him. I didn't tell him nobody. No, I didn't. I played the government. I played them good, too. I finessed them good. This is what the, this is what the street's going to say. No, nah, because niggas trying to keep it, like, way too real. Niggas trying to keep it way too real. You mean to tell me, and y'all niggas look at me, man. You mean to tell me if you sitting in that bitch with 30, 40 years, you ain't putting no nigga in prison, you ain't making no statements on no nigga, you ain't going to trial on no nigga, you done put your drugs and put your gun in an abandoned house and told the Christ to come get it. After they come get it, I'm going to be on the sideline laughing like a motherfucker. I just played the fed, man. Hey. Does that make me a hot? Does that make me a rat? I Nobody went to jail. I ain't make no statements. I ain't did none of that shit. I sat up in prison and I concocted a motherfucking story to fuck the government around. That's what I, I call did. it finessing the government. You motherfucking right, but then you got these niggas. Like I call it about, finessing no, the government. No, my nigga, that's still because you cooperate because you're talking to them and this and that. What the fuck ever? I played them crackers. I ain't put nail nigga. Listen, I ain't put no mama son in jail. Can't nobody guess what? I still got my name when I get out because can't nobody say guess what? Ronnie Red told on me, man. Yeah, because my I definitely... sat in there and I schemed on them. As far as the Terrence Gates and Wizards situation, like I said, man, I feel like I got my own opinion about that. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like he said, you had, you know, he told on the dead and we know that we don't post to sit down. I understand all that. But how hard niggas going on that nigga, man, that nigga made nigga, man. That nigga like, like damn near made New Orleans. Now, if you would have got I'm talking about when you talking about the motherfucking shit that was in the street. Y'all got to get that nigga his motherfucking flowers, man. You, know, if you, got, you ain't got, got to like him. To you ain't got to like the deal. nigga nothing like that or nothing no. like that. But come on, my nigga, y'all keep it real, man. Yeah. We don't support. Once again, we don't support rats. If you told, fuck you. Yeah, I say if you would have got back out here in the streets and tried to be gangster again, back back in the streets. No, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't fuck with him because you know he has the possibility to tell now. You know, but. My 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 opinion of, of snitching always have been with a nigga send your ass up the road. Correct. That's always been my my. It was a form of finesse what he did. Like he know and right and to you know what I'm saying to his credit, my nigga, he take all that shit on the chin what they doing to him. And he know deep down that a lot of these niggas that's talking to him the way that they talking to him, they wouldn't have dared talk to him like that. And he know it. This nigga don't even cuss. This nigga ain't even cussing. Listen to me. This nigga gangsta ain't even cussing. He be real humble with it. Like the way niggas talking to that nigga dog, they wouldn't even stood in front of that man motherfucker 20, 30 years ago, man. For real, they wouldn't have did that, man. That's why he be smiling at them. Baby them know it. Baby them know it. All of them know it. The whole New Orleans know about this nigga, man. And the way y'all talking to the nigga. Even if y'all don't agree with what he did, man, the fucking disrespect, man, the shit that's flying out of niggas' mouth about this nigga, man. Because guess what? Any nigga that killed 30 niggas, because they say he killed about 15 before he was 21, he still got it in him, boy. If you done killed 30 motherfuckers, 20 motherfuckers, 10 motherfuckers, it's still in you. You a dog. The man just trying to be humble, man. That's all he trying to do, man. How y'all feel about... Uh the way baby embraced him when he came home, uh, basically got, cutting I, him off. I, I, look, I, I respect what baby did. Yes. Because he, he got to keep it G2. Yes. He said, I love you, brother, but you told my nigga. Straight up. And for and you ready to keep his, his image, Cause keep his image up, he got to keep it 100. I just like me. I got, I may have a family member that's fucked up. I still love him, but I can't fuck with him in the streets like this. You know what I'm saying? I may have a homeboy that I know done did some shit out here in the streets that I don't fuck with. Mm. I may still dap him up, but I can't fuck with him no type of illegal type shit. You got to know better, you know? But for Birdman, it's all a brand, you yeah. know? He figured he'll, he'll, he'll find his way. And at the end of the day, right, you got to think. At the end of the day, that's still his brother. Yeah. And he must, you know, gangster have his moments where he be like, man, I ain't trying to disrespect, you know what I'm saying, Birdman, this and that. He be trolling him and shit like that, doing what he do. 
know what I'm saying? Because the man got to stand up for himself. The man got out of prison with nothing, really with not a whole lot of support because he had the rat label on him. But at the same time, my nigga, he got out here and he grind. He grind, my nigga. He taking a lot of shit on the chin. Yeah, I want to know who up the road from. Can somebody tell me who up the road behind what Gangster did? Yeah. So basically, Gangster and um, it's another cat I interviewed named Brian Glaze Gibbs. He was one of the hitmen for the Supreme team. Yeah. And um, basically, he um, he got labeled as a rat, too, for basically doing the same thing. But who up the road behind him? Nobody. This is what I'm saying. He, oh. didn't, he didn't tell on Supreme. He didn't tell on Fat Cat. And he didn't tell on pa Pappy Mason. Oh, who wow. up the road behind him? A rat, to me, is a nigga who bring his homeboy up the road to do a little piece of the time for him. Yes. I mean, he don't want to go do it all by himself. I'm going to bring my homeboy up here. Or I'm going to bring this nigga up here with me to help me do some of this time. That's what I believe a, a, a rat is, a snitch, a CI. Because, see, I'm, a, I'm from the dope era. They're, the only, they're, been my, they're my ops the whole time in the streets. A nigga that's going to tell on you yeah. for selling dope. And then, man, this is right you here. Know. But I'm going to tell you something, bro. I don't, I don't mean to cut you off, but I got to say this. Is that... A lot of y'all niggas out there, man, I'm talking about rappers, I'm talking about street niggas or whatever, right? Like I say, we don't promote ratting on this station right here. We don't promote that, bro. We ain't with that. But a lot of you niggas ain't even tested and proven. Like, y'all ain't been under that pressure the way these white folk telling you that you ain't gonna never eat a steak again and you ain't gonna never be with a woman again. You ain't gonna, when you get out, you're gonna be dead or gone and this and that. Like I said, I had 27 years. I caught that in 2002 and my date was in 2026. So that means that they wanted me to do 24 years off that. I ended up doing 21 because I got some play on the Johnson case in 2017 when uh, they ruled that Florida gun wasn't a crime of violence. Because what they did, I got hit with the ACCA. For all y'all don't know what that is, that's Armed Career Criminal Act. And that's almost the worst statute you can get in the Fed. When they hit you with the ACCA, that's what I got hit with, the ACCA. Like, you a bad motherfucker. You ain't only... You is an armed career criminal, meaning that your crimes that you committing is with this fire. And they hitting a the nigga for that. And um, when they hit you with that statue, really what they doing is they making a statement. They making a big statement with the ACCA. The 4B1s is like the regular career. I got hit with everything, man. I got hit with a 4B1, which is the regular career. I got hit with an armed career. Like I said, in 2017, they were saying, whenever I first fell in 2002, they were saying that a Florida gun was a crime of violence, meaning that in the feds, they use your prior record to fuck you around. So I got caught with a pistol way back in the day. So when the fed got me, they was using that pistol mm -hmm. in two armed robberies as the predicate offenses in order to enhance me for the ACCA. So in 2017, the case came out with the Johnson case. Look this shit up. This shit documented, man. Right. I went back to court. In 2017, I would have got out of prison. I was just fucking up so much, and the judge didn't want to let me go, Susan Buckley. But I went back to prison, and they ended up taking four years off my sentence because they said that that Florida gun no longer qualifies for the ACCA if you didn't use it use it in the commission of a felony. So they had to take it off, so that enhancement had to come off of me. Mm. And when that enhancement came off of me, that took four years off of me. But if I would have been good in prison, uh, the judge had the discretion to let me go. But I was fucking up. I had like 32 disciplinary reports in there for knives and drugs and all type mm -hmm. of shit. Motherfucking alcohol and all type of shit was going on. She said, ain't no way. She said, first of all, Mr. Dixon, you're not going home today. She let that be clear. Mm -hmm. You're not going home today, Mr. Dixon. And they sat up there and my family got up there. And I mean, I had the whole courtroom full, man, with my mom and my grandma. A few people from the community, man. They spoke up for me and everything. And I got up there and talked and ran my mouth like I do. You understand me? And I motherfucking talked four years off of my life. That's why I say I pulled the guy out in 26. So everything right now from 23, 24, because I got out in um, 2000, 2022, is this profit for me out here? Meaning I'm literally supposed to still be in prison until, until July 2026. Well, you know, God bless me and I yeah, got my shade four out. years off of my life. Yeah, that's good. Y'all ain't supposed to see me to 26, man. That was up.